Chris, thanks. Glad to hear that. 832, Governor McMaster says that as we ramp up testing in South Carolina, he will need to extend the state of emergency. Fox Carolina's Grace Runkle is live in Greenville with how the two are now connected. Grace? Well, Ted, as you know, we've been under a state of emergency here in South Carolina for two months already. We're looking at least another two weeks of it, though. That's because Governor McMaster says right now is the time to really ramp up testing. So he's giving some public health officials like those at DHAC and those here at the Greenville County Public Health Department some extra time and resources to do that. That's the main point of his latest order in extending the state of emergency. He says isolating cases will be key as the state begins to reopen. The order, though, also provides safeguards for at-risk groups. 911 operators will now ask callers if anyone in the house has COVID-19 before sending out first responders. That way, they can take the proper precautions. And nursing homes will still only allow visitors for end-of-life situations to try to minimize the amount of contact that those residents are having with people who might have COVID-19. The order also eases restrictions on medical transportation, so equipment like tests, things like that, can be moved as quickly as possible. Possible. They're going to allow officials to waive some of the requirements for registrations, permits, and size. The state will, again, be under this new state of emergency or this extended state of emergency for at least another 15 days. But as we've seen day to day during this entire pandemic, things can change very quickly. So, of course, the officials are going to be monitoring this situation and we'll bring you any updates as soon as we get them. Back to you.